What is up guys, welcome to the last anchoring video of Infinite Warfare. Uh, at some point I might do a more remastered version, just like I did with Black Ops 3, like halfway, maybe a little bit into the year. Uh, I'll go back through and redo everything, but as for now, this is going to go ahead and be the last one. Obviously we're on throwback. In my opinion, this is probably the most straightforward hardpoint you guys are going to play. Uh, the other three maps have a lot more strategy, a lot more uh, methodology behind each play. Uh, this map is really small, so it's more of like a, for lack of a better term, clusterfuck. So the first hill is a first hill. I've said it in every other video that you guys have seen. It's just throwing your body at the hill, getting as many kills as you possibly can, and then the second half of the hill, you want to go ahead and rotate. But I'm going to go ahead and go over it anyway, because I know you guys would like me to. So, uh, if we say we're spawning lemon side, okay? My break, uh, every single time, NV4, or I'll come left side, right street, you know, whatever side you're spawning, like I said. Come on lemon, uh, usually I'll jump on top of the lemon and try to get a point of view to see how many are over here just for a quick reference. Uh, I'll show you guys really quickly what that looks like. You just jump over here and you can see them cross, things like that. And then uh, usually I'll throw a nade because if you guys don't know, I'll get to it when I get to this hill. You can bounce nades up and hit people on this side of the bridge. It's actually really, really good. Uh, so you get some one shot and at that point it's an easy kill. But come over here, I'll just play for right lane. That's pretty much my job on this hill really. Nothing else, uh, you know, other than excluding like maybe hopping on the hill if I'm the last one here and they're all dead. Uh, just holding right lane, making sure that we don't get killed from bowling steps and lemon steps. Uh, just holding the right lane, really, making sure that they can't get map control. After the kill horse session goes down for first hill, usually <laughs> it would get like 30 seconds and below on this hill, really, because it's just so many people spawn so close, there's so many gunfights, it's not really uh, not really a huge hill. But the rotation, when you, uh, when you spawn up, say you spawn on that side, you want to eventually end up lemon. Uh, the good play, if you're solo rotating, is to go back grandma's, which is this building here, and just stay alive back line. Uh, which is the, the area over there. And then uh, just stay alive, really. But if you have this side, your play, which, uh, say your first one here, you want to go ahead and get field control. Now, this, like, of all of this map, this is probably the one play I'm going to emphasize to you guys the most, is after you rotate off of uh, first hill, come over here, because if you get those, if say, like, you spawn them out, right? They're going to spawn either in warehouse, which is over there, or they're going to spawn statue, which is way back there. And at that point, their player is going to come over here because they want to get back tents, which is the area behind me over there, because that's the spawns for this hill. So they're going to try to break the back. And as the first person, you want to get this cutoff, because if you hold this, then they continue to spawn way out statue. They'll spawn out bowling steps, and they'll spawn out middle map. And then at that point, they have to go through the right side of the map, which is going to be very heavily covered. Most of this video, this is probably going to be the one thing I want to emphasize to you guys. Just hold down blue on the rotation of second hill. Now... Uh, a couple good spots and setups for this hill, depending on where you are, if you're more of a hill player, a really, really good play is to watch the cross to lemon. From this side though, if you do it from this side, you can be shot from underpass and top window, and both of these are really, really prevalent break spots. So I would say if you want to watch your team's cross to lemon, which is very, very crucial because like I said, the rotation to this hill, going through that back room is huge. Because if they get in the back and they get those kills, they're going to spawn you out, and then it gives it, uh, their teammates an avenue to break the hill. So hold the cross for your teammate who is, uh, you know, like setting back fence maybe, top barn, something like that. And then that lets them know, say, like, I'm up here watching top window, right? Or um, top fence with an MV4 just holding underpass, okay? If I, I can't see this cross. I don't know if they're going to be back there or not, but my teammate is telling me, you know, they're top window, one cross to your back, I can quickly pick this up, get that kill, and then that neutralizes that push, they spawn way out. Holding let me cross uh, on top of the fence is really good. Being in the hill with an MV4 or K-bar, like pre and top window or something, pushing out the back, or uh, pushing out blue spawns, rather, and spawn trapping them field, which at that point you have a really good heady right here. You can do this at any point during the hill as well. It isn't just the rotation. They're going to spawn out blue the majority of the hill if you get those kills. So you can just come out here and get quick pickings. Make sure they don't jump over you on the wall run and stuff like that. This is probably the most strategic hill on this map, I would say. The right, the other three are kind of like just middle hills and like it's more of a flood mentality. But this this one is probably the most setup oriented. Uh, at all costs, you guys want to hold back tents. Get, if you're last alive, get out of the hill. You don't need to play from inside the hill. Although you can do it, don't try to make a hero play. Just hold your team spawns in the back because if they get back here, then they're going to try to break you out. And then at that point, you spawn way, way out. So the rotation to third hill. Now this hill is all about call outs. It's like the first hill in retaliation. Split spawns are absolutely huge. Uh, this hill and middle hill are basically the same, I would want to say. Um, a good play for me, or for more of like a slow AR player, is off of second hill, depending on if you want it or not. If you want it, it's a really good play to push through tunnel right here, just like I did, and then go around and flank bowling. Or you can take the long route around blue, which is that building like way over here behind these buildings. And take the long route and get into bowling and shoot them all in the back, because at that point your team's going to be pinching lemon, and then that spawns them out tunnel. So that's a really good play as well. Um, if you lose the hill, it's honestly a good play to push it as well. So you can push the scrap time, because the map is so small. 
And the thing about Third Hill, uh, it's underneath the bridge over here, is you want a side. You want to pick one side of the map and you want to hold that one side down. And if you start split pushing, you're going to spawn in weird areas. Your team's not going to be very coordinated. You're not going to win the hill because they're going to have a side. And then you're just going to be preeminent and dead, basically. So make sure you're doing something as a team. Communicate as a team what you want to do. If they're going to pinch lemon, that's the opportunity for you to go around bowling and spawn them out. But if they say, you know, I spawn back tents, but you spawn blue, push that two seconds, meet up lemon, and then push them out on the old hill or on the next hill. Uh, for you guys, I, like the play on this hill really is just slide on and contest, right? Usually that's me or, you know, Jerry or you know, like, honestly, it's whoever. The person watching over the player on hill is the playmaker on this hill, really. So it'll be like, you know, like I said, whoever it is, you can be top bridge or on hill. On hill is actually a really good spot as long as someone's watching your middle hop. Like maybe roaming uh, lemon steps and bowling steps, just making sure that when they spawn out tunnel, that they can't like fly over and kill you. Because if you hold down middle map and someone's on the hill, their only play slide on their contest and at that point you know you're just splitting time or you can play these headies i don't know if you guys knew about these spots these are actually really good but you kind of are open to middle um you can do it on both sides you can just hike the train right here oh i failed yeah it was a train right there and uh you can see both sides pretty well um top middle map control is absolutely huge like top bridge top train the spawn traps on this are really good as well so like say you're up here just this is a mean heady too you can't really wall bane this you're gonna spawn like back line they're spawning barn they're gonna spawn tunnel if you're watching the other side, they're going to spawn statue, they're going to spawn underpass towards the, the hard point over there, and they're going to spawn basically inside bowling. Holding a side is massive on this hill, so I'll go through the, the bullet points like I have been in every other video once I get to the end. The rotation to third to fourth hill. Now this hill, like I said when I was going over the second hill, is a little bit more methodical, but at the same time, it's more still more so of a flood mentality. Uh, if you win this hill, you want to get back burger control, which is the building towards the back of the hard point over here. This spot is the money spot on the hill. This is where I'm going to be basically at all times if I'm not on the hill. This spot is going to hold your team control of this hill, and regardless of where the other team is pushing, really. When you win third hill, okay, they're going to spawn lemon like nine times out of ten, or there's going to be at least one lemon nine times out of ten. The person off old hill, make sure you cause your calling out to your teammate, turn around, because every time I'm getting scrapped and I'm coming up the street and I turn around, there's someone looking over me. There's someone middle map, there's someone top train, there's just always somebody there. His teammates are gonna be coming through field or they're gonna be coming through middle map. Now, once you get back burger, it's a really, really good spot to stay alive because regardless of where they're coming, you have cover for anything, really. You know, you can hold down blue fence, top blue, or you can just shoulder peek bowling, maybe fly high bowling alley to get those picks. And if you know your team has bowling control and they're not going to be over here, that that's the cue to your team that they're spawning out blue and then you can literally just sit on statue and pre-aim fence. This is a really good spot, but carefully you can be picked really easily as well. Uh, you can call it the cross of blue if they're going top, bottom, or back. And then if you get someone in blue and you block those blue spawns, they're going to be coming, they spawn lemon steps at that point. So that means you need to get someone inside bowling, pushed out underpass. You know, they can be like, you guys can have somebody in top window even, or like on the back bowling heady over here. It's just communicating like where the other team is spawning on this hill is probably the most massive part of it. That dictates to your teammates where they should be. So I know it sounds like a more straightforward concept, but like it's really hard to convey it really. It's more so like it's a sequence of events on this hill. So the initial, you want to kill that kid bowling, get control of the hill. If, you've, if they're flooding field or middle map, you get those kills, they spawn out lemon. If you get those kills, they continue to spawn out lemon, and it's just like a process. And then if you have someone pushed out a little bit too far, or they might get a lucky spawn blue, they spawn field, and then at that point, you got to rotate back over, pick up blue again. It's just a lot of communication on the hill is required, and you can play it from the hill. Like I said, you maybe sit back for a ground the statue or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and go over bullet points for you guys. Uh, hill number one, all about split spawns. Just hold a lane control, really. My, I mean, it's my job. You guys are watching the video for my type of play style, I'm assuming. So I'm just going to be on this street, just locking things down, making sure that they can't be shot in the back, really, from bowling steps, lemon steps. Maybe I'll jump top train to get them off the hill or, like, top window or something like that. The uh, rotation, make sure you're going around lemon. If you're pushing from bowling side to lemon side, go around lemon, get your team spawns. If you're holding lemon side, go over to blue and spawn trap them if you can. Uh, they might push through old hills, like, through middle map, but that, at that point your teammates should be able to tell you that. Uh, just go over blue. Hold down blue, make sure they can't push through field because then that blocks this entire lane, forces them to go around lemon, and at that point, the person in the hill may be watching the cross. You can call it to your teammates. Uh, they're going to go top window and underpass, and then if they end up hay, it really is a death trap because there's just so many different ways to be able to watch this. If you can, like, fly over top barn, you can jump peek it from back lime. Uh, you can, like, play a tight corner in hay, something like that. So there's a lot of different ways to be able to watch this. And the rotation to third hill, same as first hill, it's all about hopping on the contest. Uh, slide onto a side and then watching over your teammates. 
And then eventually, if you get those pushed, like that tug of war concept again, guys, if you get those kills, push them out, go towards middle, like hop up on the bridge, make sure someone's watching middle. Cutting through middle map to like the underpasses is never a bad play on this hill because they can spawn tunnel. You can shoot them in the back. Uh, you can make sure that your teammates aren't going to get flown over middle because flying over the side is a really easy way to break this hill. So you have to be a little bit careful of that. But eventually, like I said, it's going to end up in the middle trains, watching over your teammates, spawn dropping them bowling or lemon, depending on what side control you have. Just to, I want to emphasize, make sure you always have somebody on the contest. They don't need to challenge at all as long as they just stay alive on the hill. That's what's important. Then the rotation in the last hill. Uh, back burger control is absolutely huge. And make sure you guys are calling out where the other team is spawning. It's pretty easy to tell, really, uh, depending on like how much time is left in the hill or you know where one is. There should be more behind them, that, that type of concept. Let's make sure you always have somebody back burger because, like I said earlier, regardless of where they are coming from, it's always a good spot to have somebody back here. You know, coming in through blue, coming through bowling. And then you just have to be wary of whether they're getting the field or lemon step spawns and then sending teammates there accordingly. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and do that spawn video next, I think. Uh, I think you guys would really enjoy that. I know it's not a very easy concept to pick up. If you're just starting, even if you have been playing for a while, there are a couple things that you might not know that I might be able to tell you. So have a good rest of your day, guys. Thank you all for watching.